Hello and welcome to Calabama Cooking with Chef Lorius. I'm Chef Lorius, the California girl with an Alabama flair for cooking. So glad to have you with me. If you're already a subscriber to this channel, glad to see you again. If you're new here, welcome to Team Calabama. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and be sure to push the bell so you're notified every time there's a new video. So excited today, you guys, it is Apple Day. We are making a wonderful apple dish. We are making homemade apple cobbler. This is by, by far my favorite fall dessert. I, I really think it is. But I say that until I cook the next one. So, okay, this is my favorite fall dessert today. But here's the cool part, guys. We're doing this in collaboration with two other awesome channels right here on YouTube. Lassie's Food and Barbecue. He's from Sweden and he's amazing. He has some great looking stuff. And Matthew and Martha Barlow of Barlow's Barbecue from right here in the USA. So watch those two channels, check them out, go see what they're doing, subscribe to them as well. And when you do subscribe, leave a comment and say, I'm here from Team Calabama. All right, guys, let's get cooking. This apple cobbler will wait no longer. I'm excited. Let's do it. First, we're going to start by making our butterscotch. To make our butterscotch, we're going to take one cup of brown sugar, a half a cup of heavy cream, or half and half. You're going to stir your brown sugar and heavy whipping cream, or half and half, until it, the sugar fully dissolves. A little heat will help this process along. Once you've brought this to a boil, you're going to turn off the heat, remove your pot from the heat, and add to it butter. Stir the butter until it melts. And then you're going to add vanilla. I'm using vanilla paste today. Make sure you don't put vanilla in there while it's boiling, otherwise it will get bitter. Okay, stir that up. And then you wanna set this aside to cool while we cut our apples and prepare them to go in our cobbler. Now that we've peeled all of our apples, we're gonna start cutting them up into slices for our cobbler. So I just kind of cut around. There's no real science to this, but I like to cut around the apple. I like to cut the pieces large enough that they can go in your mouth, but not so small that they're just gonna be soggy. See, about like this, okay? That's about right for a cobbler, okay? Then I'm gonna put them into a bowl, and as you're cutting them, you wanna take a little bit of lemon juice, okay? This is not a shot glass, it's lemon juice, and just put a little lemon juice in and stir that around with your apples, and that will prevent them from browning while you're in the process of cooking. So I've got to cut up seven apples and I'm not going to make you watch me do it all. You get the picture, right guys? I'll be back when they're all diced up. Now that our apples are all cut up, we have a little lemon juice on them to prevent them from turning brown, we're going to start putting in the things we need to bake our cobbler. We're going to start with about five tablespoons of flour. Four. Okay. Okay, and that flour is gonna help it thicken up while it's cooking, okay? We're also going to add to that half a cup of brown sugar, okay? And then we're going to add two teaspoons of cinnamon and a teaspoon of nutmeg. There we go. We're gonna mix this all up. Mmm, smells delicious. I love this cobbler. The flour that we put in there is going to help it thicken a little bit so that as it cooks and the juices are released, it will not turn into a soupy mess. We want a nice, rich cobbler. See how that looks? So here is our dish, and I have the first part of our pie crust put in here at the bottom. I love pie crust. I think pie crust is my favorite part of the cobbler. And I know you're wondering, yes, this is a homemade pie crust. That's another video, not for today. <laughs> first thing we're gonna do after we go ahead and get this cob, the pie crust all around our dish, is take about two good tablespoons of flour and sprinkle it on the bottom. And the reason you're gonna do this is as it cooks, any of the liquid that runs off, you want it to turn, you don't want it to get loose, you want it to be nice and thick. So you just kind of, this is two, I think I just did two and a half or three-ish. Okay, just so that bottom is coated. 
Then we're going to take our mixture and you're going to put the, oops, let me turn it so you can see it. There we go. Put the apples in there. Now I've had enough here to make two cobblers or one large nine by 13. So let's see how this goes. If I can, what I, oh, I can get. You wanna fill it up, you know, make it good. Make it nice and full of these apples. Remember, they're going to cook down, okay? Oh my goodness, this is so good. I'm so happy fall is here, you guys. It's baking season. Time for cobblers. Now that our apples are in here, we've got our second crust ready to top it, we're gonna take this nice thick butterscotch and pour it over our apples. The reason you cook this ahead of time and let it cool is you see how it's coating the apples? We want it to coat the apples and cook down as the cobbler bakes. We don't just want it to slide to the bottom and just collect. And then we are going to take this crust and put it over the top and tuck it in, tuck, tuck, tuck it in. Make it look nice and yummy. Got our little holes in here, little vent holes we've got. Okay, then we're going to take two tablespoons of butter and brush the top of this. This is gonna get it nice and golden brown. And now we're going to sprinkle the top of this with a little bit of cinnamon and sugar. Now we're gonna put this in the oven. We're gonna bake it at 375 degrees for 45 minutes. And when it's done, it's gonna be time to get some good old ice cream and go to town on this baby. Well, here is our apple cobbler out of the oven. It is absolutely beautiful. Let's get a piece. Ooh, I hear that crust. Oh, guys. Look at this. See that? Oh, that looks delicious. Let's taste it. I've been waiting all day for this. Well, that's all for today, guys. This has been so much fun. Be sure you go check out Lossie's Food and Barbecue and check out Barlow's Barbecue. See what's their favorite way to cook apples. But don't just check them out, subscribe. And remember, if you haven't subscribed yet to the Chef Laurie's channel, we'll go ahead and hit the button. There's still time. Thanks again for being with me today. I'll see you next time. Happy cooking.